522. It's Scott Beer on the Mighty 1090. Aztecs football has been on fire. Let's five straight wins. And I, I'm, I think, I hope I'm right, that there's a buzz starting to pick up with this team. Now, look, they're off this weekend. Then they come home, they take on Wyoming. Wyoming's really bad. Then they're on the road at UNLV. They're not very good either. Okay. Okay? <laughs> Listen, I know that the competition is not UCLA or Cal or Penn State or USC. But I'm telling you that there's a chance that this team could run the table in the conference and host the conference championship game. Now, that would be exciting. That would be great. Their quarterback is Maxwell Smith, and he's a senior, and you've probably heard some of the story of him transferring from Kentucky to here. Let's get to know Maxwell Smith, the quarterback at San Diego State. He's on Scott and BR on the Mighty 1090. Hey, Maxwell. Hey, how's it going, guys? It's going great. Thanks for having me. Yeah, pleasure. Glad to have have you. you. Congrats on the five wins. I mean, that's – that's a nice role to be on right now for you guys. Absolutely. You know, it feels good. Um, we're just uh, executing everything the coaches are, you know, installing each week. And uh, guys are playing physical. And, uh, you know, we're fighting, you know, every single week. And we're coming out with uh, great outcomes. Maxwell Smith in the five wins in these Mountain West Conference games. 43 for 65, 705 yards, six touchdowns, no interceptions. Maxwell, this is a team that's based on running the football what do you think of the title game managing quarterback? Um, you know, it's a title that, you know, I think is a good title to have. Um, I'm just going to do what the coaches want me to do. Um, obviously, we're running the ball a lot, so I have to be an efficient passer. I uh, wasn't very efficient the first few games. Um, a lot more comfortable with everything we're doing now, and uh, we're running the ball great. And then I just have to make some throws and, you know, make some plays on third down. And if we're doing that, then uh, obviously, like you said, taking care of the football. Uh, we're going to be all right. Maxwell, for, for those folks that don't know this, how did you get here? Um, really just uh, I got here, was talking to some coaches after I got my release from uh, from Kentucky, and uh, it was between here and Fresno State, and uh, it was a pretty easy decision for me to come, you know, be an Aztec. All right, but you're, you're a kid who grew up in the Valley, right? Uh, yes, Granada Hills, California. All right, so born in Van Nuys, the home of pornographic films, right? And and then grew up in <laughs> – I mean, that's that's what it's known for, seriously. Okay. And then and then Granada Hills, you said, yes? Yeah, bo- yeah, born and raised in Granada Hills. Okay. How yes, does a uh, kid – to... I just want to know, how does a kid from Southern California, from, from L.A., how does this kid get to Kentucky? Um, I, I wasn't highly recruited. Um, I kind of just sent my films out to a lot of different schools, kind of put myself out there. And uh, the coaches at Kentucky came across my film. Uh, they liked it. So I sent them um, – well, it was my highlight film that I had sent out. And uh, they liked it a lot. I sent them two game films. They, they liked that. And then from there, I got my scholarship. So they just kind of put wow. myself out there. Okay. And then you started as a true freshman. Is that right? Yeah, I did. Started as a true freshman and then played my sophomore year. But uh, my sophomore year ended short because uh, of a broken ankle. All right, but then just take us through what happens then, because if you're a if you're the the LA kid in Kentucky, and yeah. uh, and you're already the starter as a freshman, and you get hurt as a sophomore. I, I suppose the expectation is, well, I'm going to come back and play. What happens over the next couple of years to Kentucky football that had you not playing? Um, come my junior year after my broken ankle, uh, I played um, with another quarterback. Um, we we both kind of just kind of rotated. Throughout the entire season, we both played a significant amount of snaps. And then um, after that season, I found out that uh, I had a torn rotator cuff, and that's what made me miss um, all of last season. Okay, so so you miss all of last season. Why not just stay and play your fifth year at Kentucky? Uh, I just kind of thought I needed a fresh start. You know, they had uh, Patrick Tolles had, um, you know, played the entire season before, so I was pretty confident that, they weren't going to have a whole other competition after, you know, after the, they said they had an open competition, but uh, Patrick Tolles won it, and he was the starter the whole year before. So um, no hard feelings. I love the coaches over there, but just thought it was time for a fresh start. All right. Well, Maxwell Smith, quarterback at San Diego State. So, uh-huh. so you graduated from Kentucky and then transferred here, right? Yeah, I graduated with a bachelor's in communications and then made my way over here and get my master's over here at San Diego State. What do you make of this story, by the way? This is incredible, Fantastic. right? Yeah, it's great. And and did you think as a freshman, because you, you had some really big honors after your freshman year, I think you were Southeastern Conference Player of the Year. Is that right? Uh, yeah, I was uh, SEC Freshman of the Year. Yeah. Um, yeah, I had some, other, had some other cool things, some other accolades over my couple, uh, my first two seasons there. So that was pretty cool. Um, but injuries kind of really plagued me. 
Yeah, but it's but when you're a freshman and you're the SEC freshman of the year, you know, you start you're thinking NFL at that point, yeah. right? <laughs> I mean, I just you know come out every day, just work as hard as I can. Uh, don't really think about that. I'm just thinking about you know just just trying to help whatever team I'm on win. And right now, that's you know Aztecs, and uh, that's what I'm all about. Five straight wins from Kentucky to to being an Aztec. I mean, did you ever imagine that this could be where you'd land? Um, honestly, no. I thought uh, I'd, you know, start at Kentucky and end at Kentucky yeah. and it would all be, you know, picture perfect. But, you know, it wasn't that way. Um, came here. Um, I'm enjoying every, you know, every moment that I've spent here so far. And it's great to, you know, be on this winning streak. We just got to, you know, keep it going and, um, you know, continue to practice hard every, every, every day like we did today. And uh, hopefully something really good can come from it. Billy Ray from L.A., uh-huh. from the Valley. Uh-huh. Okay, this <laughs> This is the valley uh-huh. to, to Kentucky. I mean, culture shock city, you know. I mean, right, dude? <laughs> you know, right? No, no, you're right. You're right. Yeah. I told, I told, I'm telling friends I'm going out to Kentucky, and a lot of them don't even want to visit me because their, their picture of Kentucky is what you, I'm sure your guys' picture of Kentucky probably is. Well, now, hold on a second because I'm from Arkansas. Yeah, and I've been to Kentucky a couple times. It's right. nice. But the point is, <laughs> is that okay. you're, you're an L.A. guy in Kentucky. Right. You know, people think Hollywood. Ooh, you're from Hollywood. Now you're in Kentucky. <laughs> But it's amazing how you've come here to San Diego State. I'll ask it to you like this. The first four games of this season, the team is is one and three. You beat University of San Diego, lose to Cal, lose to South Alabama, and lose to Penn State. When you look back at those first four games, Maxwell, um, what has changed? The quality of San Diego State's play or the weakness of its opponents? What do you say? Um, I say the quality of San Diego State's play. Um we definitely were nowhere near as physical. We didn't execute on either side of the ball uh, as well as we are now, that's for sure. Um, you know, I, I really think it's just coming down to, to fighting longer and playing physical, just like Coach Long's always, he preaches that to us, playing physical. And, uh, you know, we're, we're getting back to it. We're putting the ball on the ground. We're playing some smash-mouth football and then executing in the air and uh, in other aspects of the game, special teams as well. So and and just, killing uh, the Mountain West. Oh, yeah. Just, just yeah. destroying people. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, seriously. 21-7 was the Fresno State game. Then after that, 28-14 against Hawaii. 30-7 to against San Jose State. 48-14 against Utah State <laughs> after they were coming off the big win against Boise State. And then 41-17 against Colorado State. Three games to go. Wyoming, UNLV, and Nevada. And uh, hopefully the Mountain West Conference Championship game here in uh, San Diego. Maxwell, it's, it's been fun watching you play, man. But thank you very much. Just going to... Keep it rolling, fellas. Yeah, keep yeah. it rolling. Right on. Big week for uh, the Aztec teammates, too, with uh, all these honors. Danelle Pumphrey is uh, Offensive Player of the Week, and uh, uh, KZ was the uh, Defensive Player of the Week, and Hageman was the uh, Special Teams Player of the Week. So congratulations to you and all your teammates. Doing a great job, kid. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right, Maxwell Smith. What a story. Oh, you called him kid. Yeah, he's a kid. Okay. He's a kid.